the families involved and the people involved, it's a crisis for people. Uh, anytime that, that somebody loses somebody and, and, and we don't that we don't track down who, who murdered their loved one, it's a crisis for that family. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it's a public health crisis or across the a broad spectrum, uh, but it's something that we take very seriously. Uh, you know, the police commissioner and, and all the district attorney's office works hard on these cases. I mean, nobody wants to, to go year to year without solving these unsolved murders. Uh, we've said in the past that there, there's issues with people speaking up and not, not talking, uh, and we, we need more people to step up. We need people, some people in the community that have have information on certain murders, they need to help us with this. I mean, some of these murders happen in, 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 in the nighttime, darkness of the night, and nobody, nobody sees any witnesses. So we need help in trying to solve the murders. I, I know it's a high priority of this administration, my administration, uh, myself and Commissioner Evans have said from day one, you know, we, we would like to have, first of all, no murders in the city of Boston, but those people that are murdered in the city of Boston, we certainly want to have uh, arrest who did it and convict them. Uh, you're looking forward to your holidays? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to Christmas. You know, we, uh, we're in a, I mean, every, I think every day is a busy day in this job. Um, certainly the last uh, four weeks have been a little more busy, uh, going to holiday parties and thanking people for the work they've done for the city, and then also uh, going to different celebrations. We